Now I'm going to start by putting this in. So let's start with that. See, we've got four and five. So four starts here. Now this is not so critical. Oh, by the way, I ought to tell you that I'm using a B or 2B pencil. B or 2B is ideal for drawing because it erases easy and you're going to erase quite a lot. And the other thing, don't draw a line, just sketch it in like that so that you can get a better idea of how it's working. Now here, what we're looking for here is getting that so that it's not quite halfway there like that. Follow it through and you'll see that I'll come down and again, I'm not drawing the line. We can do that afterwards, but for the moment, what we're doing is now wanting this little bit here. Okay, so we come down like that and then a little bit there like that. Okay, and then we pick that up on this area. Now, I think you'll agree that that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Now, this hair is not so, as critical as it would be if you were doing an eye, because we'd have to be a little bit more careful now, like that. Now, that's just about perfect on the line, right? There's one thing I want to show you, though. Over here, if I move across, you'll see that the hair has been blown up. And what we don't want like that, we, we want to make this a little, little more attractive. So, coming into three now, remember, we're coming down here, and I, you've got to guess this now, so I would guess that that would come to about there, like that. That's not critical, like that. And then stick, pick up on the other side of there, like that, and then we come down onto two, all right, like that. Now, let's just do that last little bit. It's coming from here, remember, about, about a third of the way, like that, and then it comes down to there. You can, in fact, a lot of my students put little crosses on, like you know where it comes, so we know it's coming from there, it's coming from there, and then you've got the angle to use it, like that. Now, what I'm going to do is going to go all the way around, and I'll show you little bits and pieces as we drop round on this, and then once we've got the outline in, I'll then come back and I'll show you how we get the well, wall. Let me just show you this now, because I can, I can save some time. This is three the second one down so it's three so we're coming into here this is where the hair is parting about there and you see it just cuts on that edge of that there and it comes across now it sweeps now to here just to there so we come down and we sweep to there now we, this is where we can make a slight adjustment because that's because we've got the different squares we're not use we're not free free enough to do it in one so, but that looks good now okay so that's the and then we come across the eye here and just a little bit of that and that drops in and then we've got the edge of the face now the edge of the face comes here now let's just do that now that is five and it's um, I've lost the game five d right Okay, so we come down here and it's about there. It's much easier to do this because you've got the squares to help you. Like that. All right, so that's that. And let me just do this last little bit here. It's, and then I'll break off and you'll see me go all the way around. Now you could ask me, could could you not use the half inch grid? Well, you can actually. What what you do with this is you can put the half inch grid on that section there, like that. Let me show you like that. This is what I've just done. Now, what you'd have to do here is to you could. I would suggest you measured it, but um, just for safety's sake, I'm not going to do that. So there we are. Just draw a light, very light line like that. So here we are. We've got the square like that. Now, am I right? Not far out, am I? You see how that line comes down there? As I say, because it's here, it's not critical. And I'll be doing that with the eye in a moment. But what I'll do before I get there, I will actually put the squares on here with a little more accuracy than I've just done there. But this is the idea of it. Now, let me continue all the way around and um, show you little bits and pieces as I go.
I'm just finishing off the surround now. And you can see we just bring this down here, keep that line there, and then tail off to there. Small things like this are quite important, so let's put this in. It's a little dress detail. It can be quite nice to do something like that because um, it adds a little colour to your picture. Very well, now that's going to spread here like that. Um, this is not quite so critical, this sort of thing. This can be um, adjusted as we do the drawing. It's the features that we can't play with. But that, I think, looks good. There's another little, you can see there's a, another line down there. Well, we put that in as well. We can use it later. Now we've got to just double check this because I think that I've got that just a little bit too. Let me just show you what I mean by adjustment. Small adjustments. Now, if you were freehand drawing, all of this would be on the paper. The great thing about square drawing is it's all done off the drawing surface. So you know, we're going to be doing, I'll be doing this in pastel. In case you're wondering, this is my daughter. There we are. Now that's that's much better. Now we've got the overall picture. Now it looks pretty good, isn't it? So let's now concentrate on the features, which are really the most important part of all. And it's not as hard as you think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some crosses here. In fact, I'm going to crisscross all of the whole of this area here. So let me show you how I do that. Now we get your rule and we work out, we still keep the reference handy. Uh, I can't put it in on the screen because I, I want to show you this in close up, but I've got it over here. Let me show you. I've got it over here. So I should be looking at that. Anyway, let me just continue with this for a moment. Now the eye here, it's in, we want that one. So this, now I'm using it an HB pencil now. This is a softer pencil than the 2B. Come down. If you're going to do the whole lot, you might as well do it all. A little mark there. You could also do this in red pen. You don't have to do it in this color. And then we just do the same here. Little mark there. Little mark there. 
you may think, well, that's a lot of work, Colin. Do I need to do all that? No, you don't have to. But if you want accuracy, and as you'll see, in portrait work, it's really important to have it accurate. Now then, now we just draw our lines. Keep them light. Don't put them too heavy. And you'll see in a moment how easy this is actually to work out. You don't have to do this. You could You could just guess it. But I don't guess anything, and I wouldn't suggest you do either. There you go. Anyway, this is fun. You don't have to do this with anything else. It's only where you have details. And when we, I show you the animal in a moment, uh, you'll see how important that is. Now, here we go. I'll pull back again, but now I'm going to use the half-inch grid. <coughs> 